Hey everyone, thanks for stopping by my channel today. Um, back in May I went to the Great Lakes Mega Meet in Michigan. That's our like giant scrapbooking um, exhibition and show and all so, so forth. And last year I went to the Our Daily Bread booth and I didn't get anything. This year I thought I saw this these purses on display and I had to get the whole set. So I actually only bought a couple things at the booth. Um, I need to post my haul video. I haven't done it yet. I've been so sick. But uh, I bought a couple of things at the booth and then I came home and I ended up purchasing the rest online and I ended up getting two free dyes that way and free shipping. So it all really worked out uh, economically and I made a really cute unicorn card with my free gift and um, which I need to make a video on that. I'm so behind and our internet is just <laughs> not very good. Um, so anyway, the two dies I'm going to focus on today are two sets, and you can get a bundle on a line if you want to go to Our Daily Bread and check that out. Um, this is the basic purse. I just made sort of the basic sides with the wall, the handle, and a little tassel. Um, and it's very roomy. I mean, you can fit. I mean, my whole hand goes in there. I mean, it's just a very roomy purse. I've just been very into purses lately. <laughs> Um, they're so cute, and you love many things, right? And I love that tassel, it's very cute. Um, so that's just the basic purse, but you can get, so this is the basic set. So that's the, you cut two of these. Um, there's the tassel set, it comes with a little front. Um, let see if I flip it over here. Yeah, a better view here, the handle, the pleat die for the pocket, this little mesh pocket, so you can make like, on the sides here, little mesh pockets that stick out, um, like the picture here actually. And this is the front flap. You can fit a little gift card in there or tea bags or whatever. Comes with belt and buckle dies and so forth. So this is, like I said, the basic one. And you can get a matching mat set with that um, that I've gotten here. Um, so this gives you the matting pieces that would go over these pieces here and this would go over the handle and this would go over the little um, card front thing that was on the front there. Uh, I have made, um, I have another set that's a little gift card, that little folio that can go inside the purse and I have made a few of those and they're really cute. They have stitching on them so I'll do that in another video. It won't fit here but um, anyway this is called Timeless Tote Layers. Is the timeless tote and together really just with the basics that you can make a ton of things without even adding on and they have other things too that I have that I'll probably share in future videos but for now we're gonna make a basic tote with the layering though this time so I'm gonna go ahead and get started on that I've got some of my digital Maggie Holmes paper that I'm gonna grab and we'll get started Okie okay, dokie, so I have all my pieces. I've got this lovely Island Indigo from Stampin' Up that went perfectly with this gorgeous digital Maggie Holmes. I think this is from Flourish. I could be wrong about that, but I'm pretty sure it's from Flourish. But it's got these beautiful blues in there, and I picked out that color. I thought this would look lovely. So I cut out two mats for the bag. And I'm still keeping this pretty basic. So you can just see how you can build more and more. You can go from your super basic to um, building mats and then you can add all those little extras. Here are those two side pockets that we're going to layer on here. You can see the beautiful, hopefully, stitched detailing on all of this. On um, the basic one here, the score lines are in there for you. There is a mat for the handle, but I'm going to keep it blank this time. So I cut out two of those, which I think I left my other one at the big shot. So some art glitter glue here with a fine tip applicator. <clears throat> Grab that at Amazon. And then I'm going to go ahead and do the mats first because I feel like it's just easier to do it before you assemble. You can, of course, use a double-sided tape, but I'm in Michigan and our weather fluctuates. <laughs> and I feel like I need a good strong liquid glue seems to be the best holder for me. So it fits pretty snugly on there. You can still see the stitched detail. Of course, you can emboss these as well. Um, and get a lovely look like that. So we have our tabbed pieces here. Our sides. Bit of a pricey die, I'm not going to lie. Um, definitely invest in it if you're going to make things with it. Don't just... <laughs> 
you know, it's not one of those you want to buy and stuff in the corner somewhere. Um, because it's not cheap, but there's a lot of thought and design into it, and so you're paying for that. And uh, of course, we want to pay, we want to pay artists, right? <laughs> we don't want them to be the starving artist. Cliche. I've lost. It. I'm gonna have to cut another one. <clears throat> that odd. I can walk ten feet and lose something. It's really, I don't know. You know how paper flies down and kind of floats. I think that's what it did. Not sure. I'll have to cut another one. But in the meantime, let's go ahead and grab our bone folder and just give that a bit of a score or a burnish. The tabs on here, that way it's easy to glue in place without having to fuss too much. Very self explanatory without directions. Of course, you could always. Um, Rewatch this video or other videos like it. Fun, fun die. Great gift for so many occasions. You could Christmas it up, New Year's Eve, parties, all sorts. All right, so these two pieces just are going to go ahead and go in here like this. So I'm going to put glue at the bottom, like so, and just simply put them on like that. You can make these up and store them flat like this at this point. Okay. And then I'm going to put the lean on these tabs. And then we're just going to, you can put this tab down first, the bottom one, because that'll get you nice and centered up. And then this one. And then we have our stitch handle, so that's going to simply go like this. So you want the backs to be like that. So I'm going to put one on about there. And while I still have wiggle room, I'm going to put glue on the other one and bring that around. Kind of try to evenly space it with my eyes. And hold that because because it's curved, it's going to want to pull for a second. But once it's glued down, it'll be fine. You know, I'm going to find that other handle a couple weeks later. That's how it always goes. All right, so put glue on there, and then just look where you put the other ones, and try to match that up because obviously you want your handle to line up. And that's that. And then you can make uh, the tassel. Um, it comes with the pieces for that. And then you can hang that off. If you want to look on this one, I just hung it with a bit of baker's twine. And then it just dangles there, kind of like it would on a real purse. But hopefully you like that. That is a fun dye bag. You could put bows on here. Super fun and super pretty. And you can make these look so many different ways and they're so roomy you could easily fit tons of things in there like that lots of treats roll up a tie I, i'm tied but you know roll up a scarf i don't know uh put the little gift card holder in there all sorts of things you could do for weddings and showers and little hostess gifts when you go into somebody's house hand them this they'll be like oh, wow all right thanks guys so much for joining me i'm gonna go find my other handle and clean my craft room <laughs> have a great day